Well, welcome back to day six. And uh, I actually started drinking this and forgot to put the camera on because I got really, really, really excited about this one. It's actually a bottle that I've seen so many times, but I've never had the chance to try it. Mind you, they're just over $200, so I wasn't too sure about it. And now, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a fantastic whiskey for what it is. So, uh, 40%, it is super light, super delicate. We'll get into that. Uh, Yamaz Yamazakura, I'm probably gonna say that wrong, uh, was founded in 1765, but this release is obviously much later on in the pace and released in 2015. Now I've seen it in Japan, I've seen it at a couple of bottle shops in Australia, but it is very rare that it's actually available in Australia. So if you do find a bottle, Whiskey Loot's probably got one, jump onto it because it's very hard to find and this is a fantastic whiskey. I will admit though, I'm not getting much on the nose. So there's aromas of sweet malt, ripe fruit, and a hint of floral notes and spice. I'm getting probably the floral notes only, and only lightly. I'm not getting anything overpowering from it. I'm going to admit, I'm not getting any particular flavors that are coming forward that are really standing out either. You know, they've got smooth flavors of caramel, ripe fruits, and a touch of oak balance with uh, subs or spices. I'm actually not getting any spices at all. It is just a, I hate the word with it, but we're gonna use it. It's such a smooth, well-balanced whiskey that all the flavors are there, but nothing's overpowering it. Do I get that smoothness of the caramel? Yes, there's a bit of sweetness in there. Am I getting any floral or ripe fruits? I am getting that more floral, more so than the ripe fruits. It's very interesting to kind of pick. Now, spoke about it yesterday, being out in the hot sun, this is a perfect dram if you can. What I would be doing is getting some whiskey stones to cool this down. Obviously don't wanna put some ice in it because it will melt it and bring it way under that 40%, which I don't think it could handle. But that is a beautiful, beautiful whiskey. They're saying a medium length finish. For me, it's dropping out fairly quickly. This is a great sipping whiskey. So, so far, this is probably my favorite from the box. Uh, again, if you've tried this or you know any information about this, I'd love for you to leave some comments down below and I'll see you tomorrow.